I come from a really big family. I have three brothers and there's a lot of family that I used to live around in the same town. Uh, so the thought of moving to America definitely wasn't um, one that I had in mind. I started getting recruited from American colleges in my senior year at high school, um, but I would just delete those emails and forward on the phone calls. Uh, but eventually my parents kind of got onto the schools and helped with the process and I say to this day they physically put me on that plane because it, that's how it happened. <laughs> I, um, I put up a fight, I tried my best to make up. I actually applied to universities in Australia and got accepted secretly. Um, but my parents wouldn't let it happen until I'd at least tried out America and seen what the system was like there. And it, it took me a while to get used to it. Um, in the first six months, I can't say that I enjoyed it at all. I would cry myself to sleep every night and secretly try to have a bank account that didn't exist to fly me back home. Um, but my parents just kept saying, like, you'll get used to it, you get used to it. I remember them saying, oh, don't worry, when Thanksgiving comes around, you'll um, go home with the family and enjoy an American Thanksgiving. And I thought that was the most horrible thing they could have ever said. <laughs> um, but, and a lot of things happen. Like, it was a tough time. And when you're away from your family and you're not there celebrating everyone's birthdays and different anniversaries and... At one point, my parents, it completely unexpected, got a divorce, so it was a tough time. I think I, I blamed a lot being away from home on those sort of things that happened, but I just started running really well and started to really enjoy it, and um, I, I said it earlier today, my parents can't get me home anymore. I just reapplied for another visa, so <laughs> I don't know when they'll have me back, but that's their fault. <laughs> Um, amongst the Australian athletes, I was just kind of like top three, top four in the country, but I definitely wasn't like a prodigy to Australia. Like I, I, I didn't see myself as a really good runner, but I think it's different in Australia. We don't have college sports, so we're all driven at a really young age and are doing crazy things at the age of 17 and 18, but then without college sports, we all drop off and like, unless you go professional immediately, you, you never heard of again. So my times were solid. Um, but they were nothing that we would call a prodigy. Um, I was just good enough to come over with schools that had a full, uh, full scholarship available, um, wanted me, but I definitely progressed a lot in college uh, from my freshman year. I definitely t took some big jumps when it came to my senior year. Yeah, I know it's kind of hard. Well, the drinking age is 18. So I was recruited at 18. Um, I was just at that point in life where I'd done so much work in, you know, you graduate from high school and you think that that's when you take a step away from um, working. You think that school is, you know, all the studying's over, all that's over, and then in Australia you actually just go to the university closest to home. You don't move out of home, you don't go to another state. It's really straightforward. Um, there's no big celebrations when you graduate it's kind of just the next step. Um, whereas going to America kind of made me feel like I had to start high school all over again. Like I was going back steps and it was scary. It was a scary thought to be away from home. I'd never spent a few nights away from home, let alone, you know, being in another country for a few years. So I just didn't want to leave my life behind and feel like I was missing what was going on there. Um, but to this day, you know, nothing, changes, your family are always going to be there, everything stays the same. Um, so I'm very grateful that I took that decision, even though I was forced. Uh, definitely only about a year and a half out from the Olympics, uh, I saw the steeple as a great chance for me to make it. Um, it was just as the time, my time got faster and faster each year, I kind of saw that that would definitely be my best shot. Um, Olympics has always been a dream. I'm sure anyone here can say that since the day they started running, Olympics was definitely something that they put in their, like set in their goals. But as a reasonable and like possibility, I only thought I could make it probably a year and a half out. It was something that I started striving really hard towards. <laughs>